So I've had these meta display glasses for roughly a week now, and in this video, I wanna show you guys all of the apps that they have within the glasses. I'm gonna go into each app, break down what it does, and test out all the features that it can do. So stick around and let's get into it. So we're gonna go through each page, kinda of talk about what each of the apps do, and we'll dig into each of those apps to see what kind of features they have. So let's take a look. On the top three, closed captions, camera, and music. The third, like, I guess page you can call it, or tab, has all the apps in there. So we're gonna get to that soon, but let's just look at what we have now. Uh, here we have the volume button, which we can scroll up or down how we like. You can also take your fingers, pinch it, twist. Look at that, look at the screen. Definitely a cool feature. Uh, we'll get out of that now. Same with the brightness. You can take it, scroll. You see on the screen it's getting brighter. Looks like we can do that pinch and twist feature when you're in the brightness menu. All right, so the next one we have is audio only. So basically all this does is make it so that if you just want audio with the glasses, you don't want that in lens display to show, you turn that on and that way if you get notified, it's not gonna pop up in your lens, it's just gonna tell you, hey, someone texted you or something. It's kind of like the next one, which is do not disturb. I think everybody knows what that is. You know, instead of getting notifications, you turn this guy on, well, you just won't be disturbed. So yeah, everybody knows what that is. Settings, there's not much going on in here. The first option is display list or screen. It's kind of hard to read from my angle, but you can kind of tilt this guy. Now, I don't know why you'd want to do this. Maybe you have some kind of vision impairment, but the option is there. I'm going to put it back to where it was. And the next setting you have is message notifications. So in case you want notifications to pop up or not, then you could basically turn those off. Let's get out of here, and we're back at this home screen. Let's go off to the second slide, or the second screen. So here, we have a notification from my brother, he sent me some kind of Instagram reel, uh, and then we have Meta AI, so we can utilize that as well if we have any questions. Uh, let's go over to the next screen. Okay, so this screen is where all of the apps are. So we're gonna break down each and every one, see what we can do with them. This is where the real meat of the video will be. Uh, let's open up the first one, which is going to be your camera, okay? Well, if we scroll to the left, we can see that we have some photos. And I'm gonna click on this. And I took a photo earlier of me just standing in front of a mirror. I can also share this or I can delete it. So I'm going to, I'll just show you guys what this would be like. I'm going to share this. Your options are sharing to Facebook and Instagram. Obviously these are meta glasses and kind of the downside to these guys is that they're really only hosting meta-based apps. So there are limitations, but let's just test it out. I can share this to my story. I can share this to my close friends, which I'll just do that. So you can share it or delete it. And then obviously with photos, you can also take videos. So here is a video of me just waving, making some motions with my hands just to kind of test out the camera. Nothing fancy here. And then in the camera app itself, you know, obviously you could take a photo with the camera or you can record with the camera. Basic camera functionality again. Let's get out of the camera. Let's move to the right and go to Instagram, okay? So this might be where people might be interested. Like, oh, what can I do with Instagram in these glasses? Looks like I got a notification that just popped up from my Instagram group called Meme Fam. What I will open though is uh, this cute little chat I have with my mom and my wife. We can, within this, make a call with this group. We can send a voice message. We can send a voice to text message there, or we can send a photo. A few options there, but nothing like groundbreaking. But can we watch reels within our glasses? Here we have a reel of a dog. Let's take a look at this reel. Basically looks like some dog wearing a trash bag as like a hat and jacket saying, mom, are we poor? Y you can watch reels to a degree. There's a big asterisk on that. And the reason being is because I can watch it, but I can't scroll endlessly. The only way you're gonna watch a reel is if somebody already sent it to you. I can't just go on like the explore page and start looking around Instagram. Maybe in the future, they'll update that. I'm curious to see if they do, but until then, this is all we have. So let's get out of the Instagram app and move on to WhatsApp. If you live in the United States of America, at least, you probably don't really use WhatsApp unless you're communicating with people outside of the US that do use WhatsApp. So this is kind of limited for people that really use it, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so I just sent a earlier a, a test message to uh, my wife and it looks like what we can do here is call her. I can do another voice message, another audio to text message, or I can just share a photo. I'm gonna share a photo here just to give some kind of demo. I'll do that one photo I took earlier and send. 
That should be sending. Looks like it's sent already, so she should have gotten that. Anyway, let's get out of WhatsApp. All right, so the next app we have is the Messenger app, so just another text message kind of app. Like WhatsApp, same kind of functionality here. We have calls, voice message, voice to text, and we can send a photo. I'm not gonna send anything in here because, I mean, we already did that in WhatsApp, but this is pretty much the same thing as WhatsApp, but maybe if you use Messenger, then you could use this too. Just another option for you in messaging. But let's get out of Messenger now and move on to messages. So our third, potentially fourth, if you count Instagram, our fourth messaging app. Let's click into messages. So at first, I didn't think that I could message in here. I thought I had to message through WhatsApp. I had to message through Messenger. But this is straight from my phone. Earlier today, I did do a test message to Alejandra just to kind of test it out. Here, same kind of features. We can call, we can dictate, and we can send photos. Let's see what dictating does. I think it's just voice to text. I'm testing this feature again. Pause it. I could redo that if I didn't do a good job, or I could send it, so let's just send it. Now the voice to text isn't perfect, but it's okay, you just, obviously, you have to be very clear. Let's actually try calling Alejandra now. All right, so I had to cut a little bit because when I called her, it went straight to my phone, cut off the recording on my phone, and called her straight from there. Kinda screwed up there. Yeah, so sorry about that. All right, so let's get out of messages. I am done messaging people. Is there anything else we could do here? Uh, well, we can call, but I think what would happen is what just kinda happened. If I called right now, then it would probably just call through my phone, cut off the recording on my phone. Uh, I don't wanna do that. But this is an option that you can do. We know how to call people. All right, so the next app that we have is music. So something that we actually probably use these glasses for that's really good. Let's jump into the music. I have a song pulled up, not copyrighted. So basically we can go back a track, play it, go forward a track, simple. I'll try to pick this up on the, the, the mic. It's going through the glasses now. <laughs> All right, so you guys get the idea. Listen to music, skip through tracks, more basic stuff. Uh, the next thing we have is, I think, photos here. Yep, so we've already kind of gone through photos, but, you know, again, I've got a photo here and a video. We've seen that you can send stuff like this across different messaging apps. So we've already done this, let's just move on. Let's see how many more we got. Four more. All right, so here is captions. So I will save this one for a little bit later. I want Alejandra to help me with that one. So we'll save that for last. Next, let's go into Hyper Trail. So Hyper Trail is an in-display game that Meta made. So essentially you are this little ball and you have to get through like a maze and get to the finish line essentially. So here it looks like, I think I'm on like level 13 or something. So basically what we wanna do is use my ball, get them all the way across to that glowing orb. So let's try that right now. So I'll swipe. To control using just swipe movements to go up and now I want to go left and I'll do it now all right we beat it let's do one more level looks like it's getting harder yeah I died okay <laughs> oh I got it that was tough okay I'm gonna stop now while I'm ahead but yeah so there's a game that's built in display from meta small little game that kind of shows that you can play games on here. So maybe in the future Meta adds some more of those or something like that. Nothing great right now, it's kind of limited as with everything else. Let's get out of here and now let's do maps. We're in maps right now, we're showing my location. Don't come find me please. Um, essentially, what we're gonna do here, we have a few things we can do. So I can dictate the search, I can say something like this. Nearest wings and rings and it will find the location of the nearest wings and rings. So obviously more built for walking, I would say. I'm sure you can use this for driving, but I wouldn't really recommend driving with this display. It can be a distraction. I think something like this makes more sense for like a city landscape. However, let's continue and let's see what we can do here. So what I can do here is actually send this information to my phone if I wanted to. I'm not gonna, because I'm recording with my phone. And another option you could do is calling the place. So I'm not gonna do that. We've already learned that calling does not work uh, while I'm recording with my phone, so we're gonna pass on that. So it looks like they have predefined selections here. So they have cafes, restaurants, parks. They also have attractions and data providers. But if you know where you're gonna go, like I just showed the example, they'll set it up, map out the route, and it's all walking. Okay, but let's get out of here. So the last app that we have is tutorials. So if you're new to these glasses, you know, you can get every in and out of the glasses, how to use these, what are the touch controls, what are the hand gestures, uh, and how to use the band, you know, 
anything you need tutorial wise with these glasses you've already got it built in so you're not gonna you're not gonna lose it and if you forget just come right back in here you'll remember it I'm not gonna go through that but that is an option available uh, you can pin your favorites so if I wanted to make a favorite of mine uh, calls I can click it reorder the list a bit not a massive feature but definitely just something to kind of tweak it to make it more personalized to you so I saved the best for last and I have Alejandro off to the side here so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna look at the captions together and see how accurate they are and I'm just gonna talk in front of them so here are the live captions I'm gonna try to talk as clearly as possible so that it can pick up all of the correct words and translate that to sentences that you can see um, so Alejandra behind the camera is telling me that so far, so good, uh, but I have seen in the past where this messes up quite a bit, so it's not 100% accurate, even if it looks like it. So now I'm going to try to talk really fast so that it would kind of mess up. I want to see if I can break it, mess it up, or it's going to say something that it didn't say, so we'll see what it does. Any feedback? It's great. Jeez, okay. Okay, that's fine. I've used these in more crowded settings too, like at a, a dinner table, and I think it's pretty good for the most part. If you hone it in on who you're trying to talk to, it does a good job. All right. So you'd say that this is a success so far? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, there you guys have it. Live captions. All right guys, so that is the live captions feature. Definitely one of the cooler ones because we didn't have that with any other Meta Glasses. This is a first of its kind. For the most part, it works pretty well, as you guys saw. I'd guess like 85% accuracy rate with the words to translate. I know a primary reason some people get these glasses is because they are visually impaired. But now if you're like audibly impaired, maybe you've got a little bit of loss of hearing, now you can put on live captions. All right guys, so that is all of the features and apps within the Meta display glasses. There's not a lot, I get it. Hopefully they add more over time, but right now I'd say it's okay. Let me know what your guys' favorite app was or favorite feature, how you think you guys would use these glasses. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.